The Send panel in Silhouette Studio is where you send your cut job to your Silhouette machine. In each of these action areas, whether simple, by line, by fill, or by layer, you'll always choose a material for your tool. The drop-down shows a list of common materials you can use, along with all the Silhouette specialty materials. At times, you may need to add your own custom material, so let me show you how to do that. Let's say I want to add a certain type of glitter cardstock I've tested and know what settings to use, and it's not part of the existing list. In the Send panel, click the drop-down arrow for Material. At the bottom, choose Add New Material Type. Change the settings. I want Blade 4, Speed 2, Force 30, Passes 1. If I were using Curio, I could set a platform number as well. If you want to do an action other than cut, you can click on the plus symbol to add a different action, such as score or sketch. If using a curio, this plus symbol is how you would set an emboss or etch or stipple action to a new material too. When it's set the way you want, click the blue Save button. Double-click the new material text to change the name for your custom material. Hit Enter when done. Now click the X under the Send Panel's blue tab at the top to get back to the normal Send Panel view. Now whenever I need that custom glitter cardstock setting, I can click on the Material drop-down arrow, scroll to the bottom, and find it in the User Defined section. The settings I choose when I saved it will all be there, and can be adjusted further if necessary. If I change any existing material setting, perhaps increase the thickness or blade type, I can choose to revert it back to what it was or save it as a permanent change. You'll also get a reminder when you close Silhouette Studio if you changed any material settings, and you can save or discard those changes. That's how to add custom materials in Silhouette Studio. Thanks for watching.